Hey, have you ever puzzled what is the difference between corporate security or physical security or an asset protection program or an information security program? Sometimes you see a corporate security department handling physical security, information security, business continuity, crisis management. Sometimes you see information security separately and uh, asset protection program separately. And you might be wondering, what exactly corporate security mean? Hey everyone, I'm Shiva RP. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about what is corporate security and what are the other names corporate security can be referred to and what is the purpose of corporate security and why do we need to have corporate security for organizations? And also we're going to discuss some of the key points that you need to keep in mind. But before that, be sure to subscribe to Security FII YouTube channel so that you will not miss any of the awesome security videos that we're going to release. What is corporate security? Corporate security is a corporate function that is responsible for strategy, direction, and execution of various security practices to avoid, reduce, and responding to situations that may threaten the company security environment. The corporate security department may be called with many other titles. It could be enterprise physical security department, global physical security department, global corporate security department, security and investigations department, or security and loss prevention department, or asset protection department, quite commonly corporate security. Generally, the chief security officer is a senior most executive who is responsible for the corporate security function. In some organizations, you can even see the chief security officer designation as a director of security or VP security or president security, depending on the industry and the organization hierarchical structure. Today, corporate security is no more a luxury. Every organization must need a corporate security department. Having said that, initial startups or small scale organization might not require. Any organization from medium to large scale must have a corporate security department. It also depends on the threat levels those organizations are facing, also the volume of the businesses and the assets they need to protect. So any organization which is at a global space or any organization even that if it is at a premise level, if there are threats and assets which need uh, security, which need to be protected, corporate security department must be there. Perhaps in well-established organizations, corporate security department even manage business continuity, safety, and risk management. Even in convergence setup, corporate security department even manages information and cyber security. One key point to remember, the corporate security mission should always be driven by organization's mission. There are certain key success factors that you need to keep in mind if you want to be successful in the corporate security function. The performance of the security staff is one of the critical aspects and also the ability of its leader, either a chief security officer or director of security, also plays a vital role. And the department's ability to produce better results quickly and on budget. And the focus should always on value enhancement and the corporate security department should always continuously improving its offerings and the focus should always be an organization mission and value add. If the corporate security department keep these things in mind and trying to add value continuously to the overall business, it will succeed for sure. Thanks for watching. I hope the information in this video is useful. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to Security FII, subscribe now. If you are a security professional and want to get ahead in your career, check out copsecurity.org and you will find various resources that will help you to grow in your career as better as possible.